In one of his first acts as president, Joe Biden signed an executive order requiring masks on federal property. And he's challenging all Americans to wear a mask for the next 100 days. News for Jack's reporter Brittany Muller joins us live. And Brittany, this is not a national mask mandate, but the president hopes it inspires people to wear masks. Bruce, good morning. That is right. The president can't force cities and states to impose mask mandates, but can control what happens on federal property and federal land. That includes the post office, the VA, national parks, and planes. This is video of President Joe Biden signing his first executive order called the 100 Days Masking Challenge. It directs federal agencies to comply with CDC guidelines on mask wearing and physical distancing. It applies to federal buildings and federal lands. In his inaugural address, the president stressed the importance of everyone masking up. We need all our strength to, preserve, to persevere through this dark winter. We're entering what may be the toughest and deadliest period of the virus. We must set aside politics and finally face this pandemic as one nation. One nation. The U.S. has reported nearly 200,000 new COVID-19 infections and 3,000 deaths a day on a seven-day rolling average. Biden took office just one day after the United States marked 400,000 total deaths since last March. More than 123,000 Americans were hospitalized with COVID-19 as of Wednesday. And when it comes to military bases, the executive order would not mean a major change. Currently the military branches require everyone on base to wear face coverings when they cannot maintain six feet of physical distance in public areas or work centers. Again, this mandate applies to federal property and federal land, but communities can impose their own set of rules. And here in Jacksonville, there is a local mask mandate that runs at least until through January 25th. Reporting live this morning from downtown Jacksonville, Brittany Muller, Channel 4, The Local Station.